have almost 1,700 skins, the most out of anyone, and I'm gonna show you my complete $50,000 Lego Locker Tour. We're gonna look through the best Lego skins, the most rare ones, OG skins, and skins that, unfortunately, may not be in Lego, and so much more. So let's go ahead and hop right into it. But right off the bat, I wanna point something to your attention. You can see this little yellow hammer and wrench icon. If you see that, it says a higher detailed Lego style will be added to this outfit in the future. So I wouldn't completely judge them if they have that little icon on them. They've converted about 1,200 skins, which is absolutely insane. And uh, yeah, we're just gonna start going through them. And uh, I will definitely point out some notable ones as we go through the list. Oh, look at Frozen Raven. I like the ones with little additions on them. Frozen Red Knight looking good too. Yes, we got Frozen Fish Stick. Kind of going through all the Frozen ones here. Okay, you can see the detail on a lot of these, like the Drift Skin and Peely. Mm-hmm. Permafrost Raider. I do have Renegade Raider, which we'll see in a little bit. Got a little view at Midas here. Another Renegade Raider skin. We got Blaze. Ooh, okay, Molten Battlehound. I love the helmet here. The helmet looks fire, and I'm glad they actually added that. This one's not really done yet. Incinerator Kuno. Going through all these sort of ones here. Shadow Arc. These are all kind of the shadow skins. And about half of them are done, half of them are not. Oh, Shadow Scully. <laughs> oh, these apparently are done, so that's interesting. Mecha Team Shadow. Yes, that looks great. Okay, going through. Big Chuggis. Interesting. We've got Slurpentine. I like the little details, even on skins that they really, I guess, didn't have to care about because they're Battle Pass skins and not as many people has them as item shop skins. It's cool that they took time to pay attention to the detail. Like, Ark, look at that. The Angel skin, fire. Absolutely fire. And then we have Battlehound in the non-lava version looking nice. We have, oh, Catalyst. That is cool. I love the Lego mini version. Carbide, an OG skin. <gasps> Calamity. Oh, I like that. Oh, Blackheart. Look at the detail on them. I love that. Crackshot. We have Cuddle Team Leader, of course, one of the mainstays of the Fortnite Lego collapse. So they had to do Cuddle Team Leader right. We have the Astronaut skin, Dark Vanguard. Drift looking good Ooh, this one looks fire dead fire appropriate a couple of ones that aren't completed we have the superhero skins i'm not sure how those are gonna work maybe they'll just use their default kind of form who is this fusion fusion looks interesting frostbite i do like the look fade from what is this chapter two season three one of my favorite skins from that chapter one of my favorite skins from that season the first crew pack skin galaxia looking good galaxy grappler looking interesting gear splushes mayas glimmer okay okay Ooh. Inferno, look at them. Absolutely fire. Moving it along here. We're gonna start getting into some of the more rare skins. Seeing the superhero skins, I think they're gonna use their default style. Or maybe you can even edit their style. Leviathan. Oh my gosh, the fish space astronaut. Love that. Okay, we got Magnus, the Viking. Ooh, Lynx. Lynx is looking great. Oh, we got Midas. Midas with the gold hands. I dig it. Omen. Omega Rock. That's from the Fortnite OG season. Oro with a very detailed Lego figurine. Power cord. I love the shirt. It's so cool. Ragnarok still not done yet. Red Knight. We got Raven. Ravage. Raptor. Oh, Rex. Rex looks awesome. I love that. Ronin looking cool too. Yeah, there's. I, it's going to be really hard to pick which Lego figurine I want to use, honestly. I'll probably skip over a lot of the ones that are incomplete since they will be changing in the near future. But it's cool that Fortnite decided that if you have the Fortnite skin, they'll give you the Lego skin. I think that's really 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 cool and I, I guess they didn't have to do that but they did so you know good stuff it does make sense though if they're collabing fortnite and lego to do that so smart move just overall smart move i like the rubber ducky on this guy wild card vibe wukong Ooh, dude some of them are like extra extra detailed and i love that ace academic abyss abstract zero agent jones with the fit okay okay as we're going through this, I want you guys to pick a skin that you would rock, like your number one. There's a lot of definitely generic ones, but I mean, you could even find one that looks like you probably. The, the odds are high with how many skins. Ooh, Bash, the whole unicorn head and everything. Battlehawk, <gasps> Beef Boss, look at him with the burger head. The burger head is so nice. A good little touch. A lot of generic ones for sure, and a lot of ones that still need to be completed, but there is hundreds at least of fully completed models and you love to see it charlotte we've got cloak shadow looking interesting culture club commander i don't even remember what that skin looks like cube assassin oh that's a vibe we've got crackabella dante he still needs to be completed oh this is like the daring duelist oh demos i think that was a fortnite crew skin do oh <gasps> 
DJ Yonder. The extra detail added to putting their helmets on and stuff is so good. Double Agent Wildcard. Double Agent Hush, one of my favorite skins. We got Dust there. Double Helix, one of the rarest skins in Fortnite Double Helix. This is the one that you got for buying one of the switches. You don't see anybody rock that skin pretty much ever. Elite Agent, an OG skin now for sure. Ember, Rissa, Fabio Sparkle main. They did it. They put the unicorn in the game. My boy, Eevee, Errant. We got formal Lucian West, free kick skin, fresh aura, funk ops, galaxy crossfade, ginger gunner. Oof. Oh, we got the ghoul trooper skin. I mean, you know, not as highly detailed as it should be. And I wonder if they're going to include the OG variant, the ghoul trooper skin, which I do have. That'd be cool to know. We have globe shaker. Wow. That's actually, that's going to be a lot of fun to rock for Christmas time. Golden gear Midas, Grimwire. So many great ones. We haven't even gotten to a lot of the OG ones yet. So, hey man, I wonder how much time this took truly for them to do all of this. Must have taken a ton of people, a ton of time. Even making one of these surely takes a decent amount of time. Even if somebody knows what they're doing. Oh, this is from the current season chapter five season one hope they did a great job hollow head even the ones from like past seasons I, I feel like the more modern seasons they did all of them pretty much isabel there we go Ooh, jitter shock that's actually a really cool model for him love that love the hair those ones are definitely gonna feel like you get more bang for your buck and there is the you can get the free fortnite skin and also the lego variant of it if you link your lego account I think it's Lego Insider with your Fortnite account. So definitely make sure you do that so you can get a free skin and a free Lego model too. Going through these though, I'm sure you guys have a great idea of what skins you probably want to pick up moving forward. I really love the unique ones. I think like Luminos here looks fantastic as a Lego form and Lieutenant Evergreen, which you can't get the skin anymore, but if you got it, which was, it was a free skin for Christmas, like two, three Christmases ago, it looks fire. Masai, Mariposa, Marigold. Midas' girlfriend. Oh, we got Mecha Team Leader upcoming. Look at him. That is, that's a vibe for sure. That's for sure a vibe. Oh, a couple OG skins coming up. Mary Marauder is a good luck there. Meow Souls, who you can't get anymore. Chapter 2 vibes. Man, they did a great job with that. Minty Bomber, Mission Specialist. You see which ones I have favorited too. Those are like pretty much my all-time favorite ones. But we're looking for the rare ones like, you know, Aerial Assault Trooper, Renegade Raider. Neural Links though. Oh. This is Nisha from the current Battle Pass. I like that. I like that. A couple of these aren't done. We have Overtaker. Oscar, aka Tony the Tiger, looking fresh. Now, Aurelia, they say isn't done, but she looks pretty good, though. I'm gonna be honest. They at least gave a nice base model for her that looks pretty good. <laughs> Peely 3.0, definitely not done. Not looking very much like a banana. But we do have some Peely skins coming up here. Here we go. We got Peely Bone. Wow. Peely. There we go. They love using Peely in all that promotional stuff and their videos and the reveal trailer and all that. So pretty important skin. Other than that, you know, take your pick. You can pick basically whatever. Ooh, Ragsy. Rapscallion. Ready Penny. Just going through some of these. Oh, this is kind of a rare skin. Rogue Agent. This is the very first star starter pack in fortnite not many people bought it here you go pretty sick skin in lego shadow midas is that midas is that midas shadow ops okay okay skull trooper there we go i have the purple skull trooper version i'm not sure if it'll show it's not going to show right now but will you be able to equip it when lego comes i'm not sure we have sky Ooh, they did cool with her model snow mando yes sir oh we got another cool one here too slushy soldier oh they kind of popped off on those like the weird skins that you probably wouldn't rock in battle royale because they're too big and clunky are perfect in lego form so you got to think about that now too. And then every skin I think you buy moving forward is going to be allowed in Lego. So that's fantastic too. Ooh, Sugar Blum. Look at her. That means too that if somebody is just brand new to Fortnite because they're playing Lego, they'll never be able to get like Renegade Raider and stuff, which kind of sucks for them. I guess it's kind of cool if you got it. The Ace. I'm kind of skipping over the ones with the yellow icon because I feel like they are going to come out later. So there's no point in really looking at them now. Oh, Tomato Head coming up. Oh, look at that. Wow, they can like put that on the shelves right now that looks great these are good looks too trailblazer this is a twitch prime exclusive skin i believe what is this one? Oh, trespasser elite oh wow suki my locker bundle skin looking fantastic i think there's the edit style version of it too we'll, we'll check that out after vengeance jones okay i like the little beard that's a good little addition to it Ooh, wingman look at him wonder a rare skin okay okay wildcat 
the rare Nintendo Switch skin looking pretty good in Lego. Yonder, Yule Trooper. That's fire. Oh, we got a mega rare skin coming up. One of the rare skins in the game. Aerial Assault Trooper. What do you think? That's a W. That is a W. A lot of people still think that Renegade Raider is more rare, but I personally, having both, believe that Aerial Assault Trooper is more rare. I never see it in a game. But Renegade Raider, I see rarely, but I do see it. Oh, look at this. Look at Axo. Like, that's a fully detailed minifig. You love that. You really do. Bucky, Beach Brutus. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Birch. Wow. That skin is uh, not one that I expect to be so far. Wow. Blinky looks like one of those like collectible figurines. Those like bear bricks. Blue Squire. Definitely a rare skin. Boardwalk Ruby. Blue Team Leader. Breakpoint coming in with one of the hardest fits for sure. Love that. Brilliant Striker. Bright Bomber. Probably the main character of Fortnite Lego. They did a great job with her. Bryce 3000 looking pretty cool. I thought he would look more like a robot, but bundles. Okay. Bush Ranger. Yup. I love that. It looks like we ran into a bunch of generic ones here, but they all got their own uniqueness to them, you know? And if any of these are like your skins, then you'll really gravitate towards them, I'm sure. Codename Elf. Love the hair. Contract Giller. Mm-hmm. Ooh, Coordinate Talus. A skin that a lot of people kind of skipped over. Looking very unique as a Lego. Countess Taraku. Oh my gosh. Cutie Pie. This is a skin that nobody bought, and uh, it's actually got an interesting fit. It's like a Fallout type vibe. Cryptic. We got Dark. Oh, Designer Suki. Different variation there. Or actually, that's a that's a whole new skin from Suki. Oh, Diecast looks cool. I like the beanie. That was giving me Aerial Assault Trooper vibes. Oh, look at the reindeer, Dolph. Dolph go crazy. I'm sure going through here too. You guys don't remember a lot of these skins, so this is a good good little refresher. If you think one of them is cool and you can wait for it to come into the item shop most of the time. Echo. Dynamo. Like that luchador type skin. Etheria. Fa la 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 la. Fish stick. Fish stick. Look at them. Fully detailed. Fully detailed fish stick. Flatfoot. Focus. Ooh, focus is looking cool. We got gingerbread raider, which means renegade raider is going to be coming up soon. She's looking fresh though. What the heck is this? Grimbles. You could be a gnome. Haze. Yep, that's a fresh fit. Holly Striker. A lot of these Christmas skins are going to be coming back to the item shop soon, I'm sure. Innovator Sloan. Hush. Another variation of my favorite skin. You see, I had it favorited. Jelly. What an interesting looking figurine. I wonder if they're going to import the icon skins and kind of the Marvel ones and that. I don't think they will. They currently have not. So I would set our expectations to not see those unless they're specifically kind of made a brand new thing for Lego. Because I mean, who wouldn't want to see a LeBron James Lego minifig in Fortnite or a Mr. Beast one or something? That would be cool. Or Iron Man and all that. I think people would really like that but you know fortnite has to work out those things with marvel as well so it, it makes sense but with the marvel ones and the star wars ones those should be a little bit easier because i believe they do have lego sets for them oh look at monks again those ones with like the extra different head models and stuff i really enjoy those phantom meowsles mm -hmm. pepper thorn pit stop oh that one's fire pj pepperoni <gasps> look at Potassius Peels. There's going to be so many prestigious bananas in Lego. I see it now. I can see it. The writing's on the wall. The writing is on the wall. Oh, you know, former super rare skin recon expert. I like the star on the shirt. Recon specialist. Also fun skin. Red Nose Reindeer. Or Red Nose Raider, rather. Like it. Oh my gosh. She's coming up. The one and only Wenegade Waida. Arguably one of the rarest skins, or no, arguably the rarest skin in Fortnite. Renegade Raider looking fantastic as a minifig. This might have to be my go-to. I'm going to put that on. That might have to be my go-to. It is fire. What else do we got here? Keep going through the list. Oh, Ruby. I like Ruby. I like the bright red there. We still got some more rare skins, so don't go anywhere. Trust me. You're going to want to see them. We've gone through probably 75% of the list now. The Wenegade Waida. Ooh, Siren. Always come back to the item shop, Siren. Snowbell. Spark plug is a sweat skin. So it's funny to see it as a Lego. Is there going to be Lego sweat skins? That's my question. Probably. I don't know what they're going to be yet, but it's probably going to be the case. Sunbird. Surf Witch. Okay, okay. I like the cleaner ones too, like Survival Specialist. This one over here, Cinco Patter. I don't even know what skin this is outside of Lego, but um, apparently I have it and he looks cool oh my gosh look at the brat literally a hot dog we've got another fish trigger fish we got triple threat turk versus riptide oh we have suki here so it looks like if you have a skin that has another style it comes as a separate lego fig that's what it looks like to me because suki and robot suki i think they're the same skin but it's interesting that they're two separate lego figs
Okay, never mind. I'm wrong. That was Suki 2.0. This is Suki. Suki. Yeah, never mind. I was wrong on that. We're going to test the edit styles after, though. Bully Warrior. Yes. Love it. Love it. Ooh, these skins. Brute Navigator and Brute Gunner looking fantastic. Aura, the Sweat Lego skin. A lot of these, like Birdie. I think this is a... Was this an item shop skin? I think it was, actually. Ooh, look at Bracer. Bullseye. I like that. I like it. I like it. I like it. Castaway Jones. Oh, my gosh. Ooh, Clash. Fire. Cozy Knit Jonesy. I actually like the detail in this sweater. Oh, all these Christmas ones look fire. Color Crush. Crimson Elite. Okay. 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 Uh, Crystal. Skipped over a little bit, but fire fit. Envoy. There is a lot of Lego skins here. I can't even imagine how many have gone through already. Grit. Guild. Oh, this farmer one looks cool. Hey, Seed. We got Jack Assassin. A little Halloween vibe there. The Flamingo. King Flamingo. Light show. Wow. That's actually cool. Manic. Marius. Nightlight. Nogops. Ooh, Plastic Patroller. Like a little army man. Looks cool. We got Quackling. If somebody's rocks Quackling, I'm, I'll be a little scared. It's a little scary to turn a corner and see Quackling, you know? Ooh, Red Nose Ranger. Wait, Red Nose Ranger. Okay, I was right. Recon Ranger, Scuba Crystal, Spartan Assassin, Skull Scout looks cool. That's a crew skin, the most recent one. Sunflower, Swamp Stalker, wow. I feel like nobody rocks that skin, but they might rock it as a Lego because it looks decently cool. I mean, the great thing is too, if you buy any Fortnite skins, pretty much most of them will be converted into Legos as well. Ooh, Toy Trooper. Victor Elite, and we're coming up to the final one. World Warrior, this is probably one of the last rare skins here. This is from the World Cup. If you bought this, you have it. If you didn't buy it, they said it's never coming back. So there you go. If you want to flex a little bit, there you have it. Coming to the bottom of the list here, you will see that all these skins, so the DC ones, the Gaming Legends ones, we got um, the Icon series, all of them, Marvel, they're not going to be included. Star Wars, they may be included in the near future. Who knows, really, if Fortnite works out deals with all these people and all these brands. Suki has two styles, right? You have the default style, which is this robotic one, and then you have the human style. So let me equip the robotic style. We go to Fortnite Lego, and it still is the human style. So I'm not sure if there will be edit styles or if they just pick one of the styles of the skin. It looks like that's how they're going about it. A rare skin like Omega will be properly integrated into Lego, but at the current moment, this is what it looks like. Skull Trooper is just going to be this style, I believe. You can see I have the purple style, but it doesn't let me use it in Lego. We got the glow skin, which is rare. I think I kind of skipped over. Literally all the peelies. Agent Peely isn't done yet. Neither is Toon Peely or Unpeely, but they will be done presumably soon. Kit, our favorite cat, is definitely not done. Sparkle Specialist. This is what we got. Fish Thick, unfortunately, uh, not done yet. Bunny Penny, done, but not the same as she is in Battle Royale, to say the least. Metal Team Leader. Yeah, they're still working on that. Mary Marauder. I like that. Guff. Guff still needs to be worked on. All his styles, they have not uh, they have not done that yet. Rex is looking cool, though. I like the helmet. Mullet Marauder. We went over Wildcat. Taco. What's the taco skin called? It still needs to be worked on. Midas looks really cool. The FNCS skins. Well, the FNCS skins are pretty sweet. Some of them still need to be worked on, I believe. All the Drift skins. Pretty fire. But that is like the 1,200 LEGO skins that are in the game.